And then we'll cap it off with NVIDIA. Got to show it. It's higher by just about 5% right now. Uh, UBS has reiterated the world's most valuable computer chip company by market value as a buy rated stock. Now, the stock has gotten back everything it lost from last Monday's sell-off. You can kind of see from here. And also, by the way, the bounce back happens after last week's news that Jensen Huang, the CEO, sold roughly $323 million of stock last month. Again, worth noting, NVIDIA has seen a 10% bounce in the last week. That is the best one-week performance of any of the so-called Magnificent 7 mega cap stocks. So, David, you know, Microsoft or some of these other names I mentioned, NVIDIA today is the standout. It was up about 5%. It's up about 4 now. We're about two weeks, two weeks and two days away from NVIDIA's earnings report, which is widely viewed, I think, as the next great catalyst yeah. for these stocks. Uh, Jeffries today, I mentioned them once already, they said that Meta, uh, your Meta, uh, was the biggest winner post-earnings, that yeah. this is the stock to focus on more than any other right now. Does that make sense? Um, NVIDIA is going to be a kind of benchmark of how big is the appetite for these chips. And what we seem to understand, and it's really hard to get through to who is making money from the AI world other than NVIDIA, but Meta is ahead or feels ahead of the others. From a valuation perspective, NVIDIA has generally not been considered overly expensive. Even at its peak, its valuation was around 40 times forward earnings, which is close to its five-year average. Currently, it's around 30 times earnings, making it more attractive now. A little bit of dose of reality here. There is an arms race going on right now. You know, if one of these companies spends $20 billion, the other has to, or it will be absolutely decimated in the stock market. Sure, you know, something like Google, Scott, got hit hard when their CapEx announcements came out. I think it would have been hit harder, actually, had they not done that CapEx. Kerry, you made a great point, though. Is it going to be monetizable? You can see easily how it's monetizable in NVIDIA. The delay has impacted NVIDIA's stock, as broader sentiment around AI investments has also cooled somewhat. However, the fundamental structure of NVIDIA hasn't changed significantly, and the delay, while inconvenient, shouldn't be a major problem for the company. I would say with a pullback in the stock to around $100, I think a beat and a raise, assuming that it's pretty solid, um, should be should be adequate you know if you think about nvidia's valuation at these levels we think they're going to do you know over five bucks and change next year it looks like there's a genuine issue with nvidia but it appears to be relatively minor super micros hints suggest there's a design problem that might cause a delay of about two to three months this could push the anticipated high volume shipments from q4 of this year to q1 of next year despite this nvidia's current architecture hopper remains in high demand. NVIDIA is likely ramping up production of Hopper to cover the gap until the new products launch. Um, we like monolithic power. Uh, they're a derivative play on NVIDIA. They supply uh, power management solutions to the majority of NVIDIA's uh, GPU solutions. Uh, in the next gener generation Blackwell, uh, they're also going to gain uh, significant amounts of content. Their ASPs are going to go up 40%. And then they're also gaining share at at other providers. They're also now supplying power to AMD's GPUs, and later this year, we think they're also going to gain share at, uh, on Google's GPUs. NVIDIA is strategically positioned as a leading force in the ever-evolving technology sector, particularly within the realm of cloud computing. This area continues to experience robust growth, largely driven by substantial investments in artificial intelligence and other high-performance computing applications. The NVIDIA's prominence in this field is reinforced by its recent collaborations and technological advancements, which highlight its critical role in shaping the future of these. I use a stock market strategy in which I pick 10 stocks every month using artificial intelligence and get massive returns. Using this strategy, I have turned $4,000 into $143,000 in the last one year. The 10 stocks I bought last month has given me 177% return, and I have again bought these 10 stocks. If you want to learn the strategy which I have revealed in my three-hour course and get access to see which 10 stocks I'm buying every month and which trades I'm taking, plus all these benefits, click the link in description and join my Patreon. Join fast because this is a limited time offer. Mains. More specifically to NVIDIA, um, I think one, you have some concerns about maybe uh, hyperscale CapEx getting to kind of peak levels, but I think those were largely addressed later when you had comments coming out from Microsoft that it's still seeing phenomenal demand on the AI front, and it's actually uh, supply constrained. 
This collaboration not only showcases NVIDIA's technical expertise, but also its pivotal role in enabling groundbreaking research and innovation. Such strategic alliances emphasize NVIDIA's commitment to pushing the boundaries of technological possibilities and solidify its position as a central player in the industry. In the broader landscape of cloud computing, NVIDIA and Broadcom are emerging as the top contenders. Their advanced solutions and strong market presence give them a competitive advantage, especially as businesses and institutions increasingly rely on cloud infrastructure to support their operations. The growth within this sector has a cascading effect, benefiting various technology companies and contributing to the overall vibrancy of the market. Meanwhile, other companies, such as AMD and Marvel, are also making significant strides and gaining traction. AMD, in particular, is capitalizing on the opportunities presented by Intel's recent challenges. Despite these advances by other players, Intel is currently struggling to keep pace, primarily due to its difficulties in manufacturing and the need to recover in various market segments. While NVIDIA and Broadcom continue to lead the field with their innovative technologies and strong market positions, the competitive landscape remains dynamic. The advancements and strategies of companies like AMD and Marvel add to the complexity of the market, making it an exciting and ever-changing environment. NVIDIA's role, however, remains central to the ongoing evolution of technology, underscoring its influence and importance in shaping the future of the industry. The stock has faced some challenges recently, and there are concerns about its valuation and whether there's excessive hype surrounding it. From a practical standpoint, whether we're examining NVIDIA specifically or the broader semiconductor sector, it appears that a necessary reset could be on the horizon later this month. This reset would likely address any delays related to their new backlog, which, in my view, isn't particularly substantial. When evaluating the situation, it's crucial to differentiate between market trends and fundamental factors. The current market volatility seems to be largely disconnected from the semiconductor sector's underlying fundamentals. The substantial gains observed in this sector are primarily attributed to the surge in AI investments. AI has been the driving force behind much of the growth seen in these companies. On the fundamental side, there are several positive indicators. NVIDIA's top customers such as Amazon, Meta, Microsoft and Google have all indicated their intention to increase their investments in AI rather than scaling back. This trend is a strong endorsement of the sector's growth potential. Additionally, NVIDIA's primary supplier, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company TSMC, has provided a robust outlook and strong guidance recently, reflecting a positive trajectory for the industry. I share stock market's latest news, datas, and important information on my Telegram channel. If you want to stay updated with these things before everyone else, open the description of this video, click on my Telegram channel's link, and simply join my Telegram channel. Furthermore, NVIDIA's partner, Supermicro, despite facing some market challenges, has reported a 90% increase in sales growth projections for the next 12 months. This projection underscores the strong demand for NVIDIA's products, even in the face of market volatility. In terms of valuation, it's worth noting that NVIDIA is trading at approximately 0.8 times its earnings, which is lower compared to the broader market and major tech stocks that are trading around two times their earnings. For a company experiencing 35 to 40% earnings growth, NVIDIA's valuation is relatively favorable and aligns with its strong fundamentals. Regarding potential delays, particularly with the Blackwell chip, it's important to consider the broader context. Currently, NVIDIA's existing products are in extremely high demand. Supermicro's guidance reflects this strong demand, which is based on their current product lineup. Despite ongoing industry-wide supply constraints, any delays associated with the Blackwell chip are not expected to diminish the overall demand for NVIDIA's products. The Blackwell chip itself comes in various versions, with the most advanced and densely packed versions possibly facing delays of a quarter or more. However, other versions of the Blackwell chip are anticipated to begin shipping later this year. The overarching point is that the demand for both existing products and the upcoming Blackwell chips remains exceptionally strong, suggesting that any delays are more about timing than a reduction in overall demand. NVIDIA NVIDIA's stock is experiencing a significant drop, down nearly 7% on the day. This is part of a broader trend where the NASDAQ 100 index, which includes many tech stocks, is down over 5% for the month of August. This suggests August could be the worst month of the year for tech stocks so far. 
Earnings reports many tech companies, including NVIDIA, have reported their earnings recently. There was initial optimism about increased spending on AI, which was expected to benefit companies like NVIDIA, particularly their GPUs. However, despite this positive outlook, there has been significant selling in the market. High expectations, the market had very high expectations going into this earnings season. NVIDIA's performance was decent but not spectacular enough to meet those elevated expectations, leading to a sell-off. NVIDIA, the advice given is to be patient with NVIDIA. Despite the current volatility and daily drops, there might be a good long-term opportunity as AI investments continue to grow. Investors are encouraged to be comfortable with this volatility and not to invest all at once. For the year 2025, many factors are already relatively well-defined. For example, Hyperscaler's large cloud service providers have set their capital expenditure capex plans, which include significant investments in the development of next-generation AI models, such as GPT and Gemini. These plans are firmly established and major alterations are unlikely at this stage. Furthermore, NVIDIA's ability to meet market expectations is supported by the expected availability of high bandwidth memory capacity, which should help the company align with its anticipated performance. I share stock market's latest news, datas, and important information on my Telegram channel. If you want to stay updated with these things before everyone else, open the description of this video, click on my Telegram channel's link, and simply join my Telegram channel. However, while the immediate outlook for 2025 seems stable, there are broader concerns to consider. If we do experience a recession, it could introduce uncertainties that affect the AI sector beyond 2025. There is a risk of an AI winter period during which investment in artificial intelligence technologies might slow down significantly due to economic pressures. This scenario, coupled with a deteriorating macroeconomic environment, could pose challenges for NVIDIA and the broader technology sector. Despite these potential risks, it seems that for the time being, you continue to view NVIDIA as a favourable investment. Thank you for providing your insights, Antoine. That was Antoine Shakin, a technology infrastructure analyst with New Street Research, sharing his perspectives on NVIDIA with us. To start, NVIDIA's stock has pulled back nearly 30% since its peak in June, which is a steeper decline compared to many other semiconductor stocks in the data centre and AI sectors. Despite concerns like the Blackwell chip delays and macroeconomic uncertainties, we believe NVIDIA will continue to lead in the data center XPU market. Even with competition from companies like Amazon and Google developing their own in-house XPUs and alternatives like AMD's GPUs gaining traction, NVIDIA is expected to maintain a dominant position in a rapidly growing market. Currently, NVIDIA's stock is trading below its trough multiple from the 2018 to 2019 downturn, making it an attractive investment opportunity. It's true that the top four hyperscalers account for a significant portion of NVIDIA's data center sales. While there might be some revisions to CapEx growth expectations for the next year, it's unlikely to be dramatic, maybe around 10 to 15 percent. Even with a conservative outlook on investment slowdowns post-2025, there's still substantial upside potential for NVIDIA and other companies in the data center and AI sectors. This outlook also extends to other names like AMD, Broadcom, Arista, TSMC and Micron. I use a stock market strategy in which I pick 10 stocks every month using artificial intelligence and get massive returns. Using this strategy I have turned $4,000 into $143,000 in the last one year. The 10 stocks I bought last month has given me 177% return and I have again bought these 10 stocks. If you want to learn the strategy which I have revealed in my 3 hour course and get access to see which 10 stocks I'm buying every month and which trades I'm taking. Plus all these benefits, click the link in description and join my Patreon. Join fast because this is a limited time offer. The Blackwell chip uses advanced packaging technology from TSMC called Coos L, which differs from the Coos S used in previous generations. This new technology involves complex components and has faced some issues like thermal mismatch and warpage. However, Blackwell is pushing the boundaries of chip packaging and was introduced rapidly by NVIDIA. While there are risks of delays, we expect NVIDIA and TSMC to resolve these issues and bring Blackwell to market with acceptable yields and volumes and volumes in 2025. In the meantime, NVIDIA can manage by extending the life of the hopper chip or releasing a single die Blackwell chip. There's still strong demand that can support NVIDIA, even if there are temporary delays. An economic slowdown could certainly impact the tech sector, including NVIDIA. However, 
Even with the risk of a recession, the ongoing investments in AI and data center infrastructure are likely to sustain demand for NVIDIA's products. Companies are still prioritizing these investments, which should help buffer NVIDIA against broader economic challenges. Should you buy NVIDIA stock before August 28th? Here's what the evidence suggests. The biggest driver for NVIDIA over the past 18 months has been the rapid adoption of generative AI by cloud infrastructure providers best positioned to monetize AI. NVIDIA's graphics processing unit's GPUs are the gold standard for these applications. As a result, cloud infrastructure providers, including Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and Alphabet's Google Cloud, have been upgrading their data centers to provide the computational horsepower needed to run AI. Key NVIDIA price levels to watch as insider trading accelerates NVIDIA has recently seen increased insider trading activity, catching the attention of investors keen to understand the implications for the stock's future performance. Currently, NVIDIA's stock is attempting to reclaim the $110 resistance level. As of the close of markets on August 9th, the stock was trading at $104, reflecting a 0.2% loss over the past 24 hours. However, on the weekly chart, NVIDIA is up 13%.